Cupid premieres CBS tonight at 10, 9 central. He shoots people with a hypodermic full of something. It makes them look like they've had a heart attack. Are you serious? When Dr. Hughes first collapsed, he even thought for a while he might be one of the Wait, victims. what do you mean, Dr. Hughes collapsed? He's in a coma. Isn't that horrible? Allison, do they know if he's going to be OK? They just have to wait and see. But at least they, they know he wasn't attacked or anything. They think that he had a stroke. Oh, poor Chris. <sighs> yeah, and he's in no mood to celebrate. Celebrate what? My birthday. Oh, Allison, happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. Hey, you're finally 18. How does it feel? Mm, here's Chris. Hey, Hi. Allison. Hi. Uh, that wouldn't be something for me, would it? Uh, as a matter of fact, it is. Mom, I've got the best idea for Allie's. Well, that's weird. Well. <gasps> Emily, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, you just, you caught me by surprise, that's all. Well, you look a little more than surprised. Emily, you're not afraid of me, are you? Complicated. So simplify. Don't let Lillian Holden keep No, it's home. not about Lillian Holden. Then what is it? Every day for thousands of years, Old Faithful has been, well, faithful. You can almost set your watch by it. What causes it to stay so regular? <laughs> Stay regular with Metamucil Daily Fiber Therapy. It works with you, naturally. We just can't say. Get regular, stay regular, the natural way. Now available in powder, wafers, and capsules. Awesome. <laughs> Great. You're invited to a streaking party, and it's going to be the highlight of the year. Introducing Herbal Essences Highlights with our unique highlighting comb for perfectly spaced highlights. And our one-of-a-kind color guide formula shows you exactly where those gorgeous streaks will appear. So now you can get what you want, where you want it. Hi! Is this the streaking party? New Herbal Essences Highlights. My flight gets in at 8. Perfect. Hey, do you ever wear that black sweater I gave you? Only every time I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> it must be gray by now. Oh, so gray. Where tonight? Tonight? Always thinking about you. Cause love like this won't fade away. And there's nothing.
Sometimes they make strange decisions, and sometimes they make smart ones, like Sunny D. They love the richness of sun, fruit, and citrus. You love the full day supply of vitamin C. Yep, they're good to go, even if they are grounded. Sunny D, it's the good stuff kids go for. You are 12 months old. You learn a lot through moving, which is why Pampers makes cruisers with unstoppable stretch. Eight-way stretch to stretch in any way you can imagine. Pampers Cruisers, inspired by babies, created by Pampers. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. You and I. What if you learned your children were being raised on a diet of lead? It happened in this town, and what happened after might surprise you. 60 Minutes 2, tonight at 8, 7 Central. Johnny Depp and his high seas adventure. Discover the difference tomorrow on The Early Show. What? What is it? Something's happened. Something happened to Bob. It's Bob, isn't it? No, no. Nothing's changed. Even in a coma, Dad's as stubborn as he ever was. And fortunately, as far as anyone else can see, he's not gotten any worse. Oh, thank you, God, for small favors. Hey. What? Come here. Come here. Hmm. Wow, can I hire you to come in and do that about every afternoon this time? <laughs> I'll miss you so much. Yeah, me too. Our schedules just don't seem to lighten up, do they? Mm -mm. I'm really not having this two ships pass in the night thing anymore. I'm not liking it either. Mm -mm. But you know what the good news is? All that's about to change. Hey, Munson. That's your file on Memorial Hospital? Everything I collected on the serial killer, yes. Very good. You can put that right in here. Yep. You could have had one of your uniforms pick this up, Hal. Obviously, this isn't the only reason you wanted me to stop by. Smart man. You treat me like one. Let's get to the point. Okay. Your continued suspicions about Rick Decker are a problem. You made that clear at the hospital. Pursuant to that, I made a full apology to Dr. Decker. I didn't get my badge yesterday, doctor. I don't care what you said to Rick Decker. I know you still suspect him. And my private suspicions are of concern to you because... Because you don't keep him so private. Now, listen, I spoke with John Dixon. He's overwhelmed, he's understaffed, and he thinks it would be a good boost to morale if you kept your theories about this case to yourself until we make an arrest, that is. After that, I don't care who you play telephone with. Are you silencing me, Hal? Like I said, smart man. Afraid? No. Startled, yes, a little. Why? This is my room. Oh, I know. I know. It's just that I, I was just so um, surprised. Glad, really, you know, to see you walking around. I'm used to seeing you in the bed, and that's all. <gasps> Look at you! Hi. Rick is doing so well, we think he can be released today. I know. I was just telling him how great it was to see him, you know, doing so well. Well, if I've recovered faster than anyone expected, it's all because of your mother's <laughs> tender, loving care. Well, let's not push it too fast, okay? We've got to get you back in bed. Well, obviously, this isn't a good time, so I'll, um... I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later about plans for Allison, Mom. Emily, you don't have to run off. Uh, wh wh what's this about Allison? Well, I thought I told you. It's her birthday today. Oh, you're... You're planning a family thing. You know, I'm a sucker for a good birthday party. I just hope that they release me in time so I can watch her blow out her candles. That'd be great. <laughs> I'll, um, talk to you later. <clears throat> she knows, doesn't she? Knows what? That I was on staff at another hospital where Serial killings were suspected. I didn't want her to find out from anybody else. And I wanted her to know that I know because you have 
gone out of your way to be honest with me about it. You told her I was a suspect, didn't you? God, look at you. Look how beautiful you are. Am I dreaming? I thought you were in Milan. I know you did. Why didn't you call me? I could have come to pick you up. I could have sent a car for you, or your dad could have come to get you. I didn't you. call anybody. Not you, not dad, not even Will. Okay, all right, all right. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. The only thing that matters is that you're home. I come here every day. How did you know when to find me here? I didn't know. sense that we share. I didn't come here to see you, Mom. I came straight from the airport to visit Paul's memorial. I see. Were you planning on seeing me at all, or did you just come to make your pilgrimage and go see your father and your little brother and then head out of town again? Mom, I was going to see you later. I called you so many times when will was in the hospital when i was in europe looking for paul i left message after message i got them you never returned my calls why not mom even when i called to tell you about paul you didn't come home jen i know mom i couldn't you know we could always talk i know we've had problems but we could always talk i was hoping that maybe you wouldn't push me away anymore mom stop it you, you think I ran away and, and didn't return your phone calls because I was mad at you? Well, when you left, we were having some difficulty. That was a long time ago. Right? A lot has happened since then. I, my not returning your calls had nothing to do with you. Well, what else could I surmise? You know, I didn't return anyone's phone calls. I, I sent Will a couple of letters, but I didn't return Dad's or, or Paul's. Why not? Because, because I didn't want anyone to know what a complete wreck my life is. I wish Paul were here. I miss him so much. What's Paul got to do with this? Storm cloud hovering over the both of us. All right, all right, all right. Talk to me. Come on, talk to me. You know, I was kidnapped right after Paul died. Never had time to grieve. Never had time to go to his grave. The guilt is killing me inside. You didn't kill him. I, I might as well have. I tell him about my feelings for you, and he takes off on a plane to nowhere. You're telling me that we can't work out because you're feeling guilty about Paul? I'm not saying we're never going to work out. I'm not saying we're never going to be happy. It's just... I need some time. I need a little breathing room. <laughs> Come on. I think it's a little more than that. I think you're holding out on me. No, what is no, it? I'm just, I just told you what it is. I need some time. That's what it is to sort through these things that happened with Paul. That's it. That's all it's about. Look me in the eye and say that again. You see that? I want you to look at me and tell me right now what is going on. Hidden Valley Ranch is coming to the Kansas City market, asking folks, how should ranch dressing taste? Like this. Thick and creamy. You can always tell Hidden Valley it's very good. There's no comparison. It just tastes the way you think ranch dressing should taste. Well, you think ranch dressing, you think Hidden Valley. Hidden Valley Ranch dressing. We made it first, we made it right. To me, this is ranch. Hidden Valley Ranch, the way ranch is supposed to taste. A new Hidden Valley barbecue ranch. All ranch, a taste of barbecue. You're serving Angie. Thanks, Jim. Is 
the worry of West Nile virus sending your outdoor activities indoors? Take back your backyard with off-hanging mosquito lantern. The candle activates the repellent pad, which protects an area 15 times greater than citronella candles. Off-hanging mosquito lantern keeps bugs off. Bring the same glowing protection to your deck or patio with off mosquito lamp. Best Western is the largest hotel chain in the world. Over 4,000 hotels in over 80 countries, all inviting you to get a good night's sleep. Best Western, the world's largest hotel chain. Visit bestwestern.com. Looking for a snack that's low in fat but still high in taste? Orville Redenbacher's Smart Pop is 94% fat-free, 100% delicious. Pick up some Orville Redenbacher's today and start popping smart. When it's you against tough pain, you can't play nice. You head straight for the Motrin IB. Motrin IB, for women who don't fool around with pain. No mail from Publishers Clearinghouse this week? Don't worry, you could still win a million next month. Just clip the entry from the coupon section of this Sunday's paper. This is so cool! Or watch your mail, or go to PCH.com. But whatever you do, enter. <laughs> Once in a Swiss kingdom, there was a maiden who suffered from such a dull complexion, she thought herself an ugly duckling. One day, she came upon St. Ives Apricot Scrub. The one with 100% natural exfoliants to clean deeper than deep so her dull, dead skin disappeared. She gazed upon her reflection, touched her soft, smooth face, and realized she was radiant. The radiance is yours. The secret is Swiss. And now try our cleansing cloths, St. Ives. Today, more people with diabetes are getting to know AccuCheck Compact. The one with the drum. Automatic, so you never have to handle a test strip, even when you're in the middle of something important. Compact from AccuCheck. Diabetes made easier. Life lived better. Are you finished yet? Uh, yeah, I'm done. Weren't you about to give me something? Uh, yes, I was. You left it in my car the other night. I wanted to make sure that you got it back. Thanks. Chris Allison told me about your dad. I'm so sorry. Thanks, Katie. We're praying that he comes out of it soon. Well, listen, give Kim and Nancy my best and tell them I'll be by soon, okay? I will. Thanks. Well, it's at the time. Uh, excuse me, I got rents to make. Mm. He didn't even remember it's my birthday. Well, I made it so easy for him. I must have given him, like, a million hints over the past few weeks. Allison, his dad's in a coma. He's got a lot on his mind. You're right. He's under a lot of stress. But it's my birthday, for crying out loud. I've missed something, haven't I? You two have gone past the just kissing under the mistletoe phase. Well, yeah, but obviously not as much as I thought. He's just been so protective lately, especially since Psycho Gordo's been on the loose. It actually made me think that he cared about me. He didn't even remember it's my birthday. He'll remember. Eventually. If that's supposed to make me feel better, Katie, try again. Honey. You can talk to me. There's nothing really to talk about, Mom. My life is a mess. You know, I left Milan, and the, the only thing I wish I could do right now is talk to Paul. But you were becoming so successful. You may not know this, but I kept track. I saw the layouts of what you shot. I spoke to the designers you worked for. They loved you. That was a long time ago, Mom. A lot has changed since then. Okay, okay. You're having a slump. I know all about slumps. Pretty soon that phone will ring again, and I'll go. It's not the agents, Mom, or the design houses. Then what? It's me, okay? I haven't been working the last couple months because, well, there was this guy and, you know, it's all too complicated. I, I really can't talk about this right now. 
Well, then don't. And I don't want you bugging me about it every other minute, okay? I promise I won't do that. But there must be something that we can talk about. Sure. I'm completely broke. And I won't be going back to Milan to model. Or anywhere else in Europe. So you're coming home. I'm not making any definite plans. You mom. may not know this, but I sold Fairwinds. And I've taken the suite at the Lakeview Towers. It's beautiful. It's huge. It's perfect for you and me and Will. And if you don't like it, I promise we'll find something else. Whatever you need. I can't, Mom. I can't talk about anything, especially my life. <sighs> Tell me about my brother. Will's fine. He asks about you all the time. You know I'm not talking about Will. Tell me about Paul. My big brother is dead, and I need to know what happened. I need to know everything. I don't want to talk about Paul anymore. You brought it up. And it's OK. You know, we did our best dealing with Paul's death. We talked about it. We were there for each other. Why do you want to go back and rewrite history? All right, stop, all right? Enough, enough. Uh, then enough, be enough, straight enough. with me. Lily doesn't want you with me, right? No. She blames me for the kidnapping. Now she's trying to put a guilt no, trip on you. No, it's not Lily. Lily cares about Paul me. She's face. not trying to put a guilt or trip on you. Or holding, no, whatever. Holding. No, nobody's bringing up Paul to Then me. what happened? There has got to be a reason why Paul is so on your mind right now. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you. There is a reason why Paul's on my mind right now. After Paul died, do you have any idea how much I wanted to talk to you? I just wanted to hear your voice. Do you have any idea how heartbreaking it was for me to leave a message like that with a concierge for you over the telephone? In a foreign language. Mom, you sent me that letter telling me about Paul's plane crash so I know how he died, but you didn't ever tell me why. You never said why. Why is my brother dead? Coming up on As the World Turns. Your mother is in danger, Dr. Daniels. I am afraid for her. And you believe I have reason to, but you still won't admit that he might be the murderer. What is the matter with you? Susan, will you marry me? My son died knowing that I loved him. And I know that he loved me, too. Once a baby found out how to open a toy, and out popped an incredible stretchable boy with incredible Huggy Supreme diapers. They're the stretchiest diapers of all. The only diapers combining stretch in the cover with stretch in the tabs and all around stretch front and back. So you too can move like Jack. The fit and comfort are a dream with the all around stretchiest Huggy Supreme. When you have a laxative you can trust, you can relax without worrying when, where, or how it will work. Maybe that's why more doctors recommend Dulcolax than any other overnight laxative. It's gentle enough for sensitive stomachs, yet strong enough for complete relief, guaranteed. Relax. Trust Dulcolax. For overnight relief, guaranteed. And now there's new Dulcolax stool softener. Make yourself comfortable. Gold Formula Beautiful Hair Breck is back. Breck is back. The bottle the fragrance, the rich Breck lather that leaves my hair feeling clean, soft, and manageable. Breck is back. Try beautiful hair Breck and your hair can be beautiful too. For immediate relief that soothes muscle pain right where you need it <sighs> and lasts up to eight hours, get Pain Patch by Mentholatum. Pain Patch, relief that's right, here and now. <laughs> Thank you. 
In the future, everyone's glasses will automatically adjust to changing light and block out harmful UV rays that can damage the eyes. But for those with transitions lenses, the future is already here. Ask your eye care professional, because the danger is real now, and so is the protection. Transitions, right in any light. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Hey, uh, Jeff Burton, would you drive this little car? Not a chance. I have a Klondike bar, rich, creamy ice cream dipped in chocolate. I, I am a professional race car driver. For that chocolatey coated ice cream loaded big and thick, no room for a stick. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Uh, Jeff, don't eat in the car, huh? It's a rental. Simon Cowell has a twisted new idea. Thousands of men will try to win the heart of America's most eligible woman. But first, they'll have to get past her two best friends. We are going to weed out the losers. Take your okay. curly and get out of here. You won't believe what guys will do. <laughs> and say to impress her. Please, Mary, please. Who will get a shot? Welcome to Cupid. And who will get shot down? Busted. You think I'm tough? Wait till you see these three. Cupid premieres CBS tonight at 10, 9 central. Legally Blonde 2 is the number one comedy in America. What more can a girl want? It's Blonde Delicious. People Magazine raves. Reese Witherspoon is a wonder. That is so sweet of you. The Blonde Blockbuster of the Summer. Legally Blonde 2. Rated PG-13. Now playing. Regain your independence and get back into life with Source One Mobility. Source One Mobility's power wheelchairs are comfortable and can easily maneuver in tight spaces. The chairs even take you safely over grass and other outdoor surfaces. If you qualify, Medicare will cover most of the cost of your power wheelchair. To learn more, call toll-free at 1-866-678-8600. Source One Mobility is a proud sponsor of CBS 2's broadcast of Once Upon a Dream, Special Olympics 35th Anniversary. Smart shoppers across America are discovering America's best. Come inside and find incredible new glasses for everyone. Yes, everyone gets two pairs of glasses for just $59.95 with a free doctor's eye exam. Wear contact lenses, join our eye care club, and get free exams for three years. Plus, get AccuView or SoftMed disposable contacts for just $12.49. Seeing is believing in America's best. Call 1-800-2-PAIR or go online. Hurry in soon. New life for a decade-old mystery. The latest as the search for clues continues at 4.30. The X Factor is on. Bring it on. Let's go. Don't miss an all-new Big Brother CBS tonight. Do, do you know something that I don't know? Well, I was just inside the machinery over at the DA's office. Um, you were there today? And guess who got offered a job? I mean, as DA. Um, you? Guess who took the job? Oh, that is so incredible. <laughs> but uh, what about Evelyn? She got a big, fat offer from the Attorney General and jumped on it. Well, that's kind of like a personal favor to me. I am so proud of you. Hmm. Do I sense a butt coming? Yeah, but, Tom, you are an incredible attorney, and I'm not just saying that because you're my husband, but why the sudden change? Well, I've got the experience. I know the team. Yes, but you've spent the better part of three years building a private practice, and it's just about to make some money for us. Why would you throw that all away? This is the no-brainer part of it. I did it for us. You can't just shut me up, Hal. I think I just did. This is my job, Lieutenant. I speculate, I hypothesize, imagine, conjecture. It's a valuable tool. Maybe so. I'm just telling you not to do it out loud. What about the evidence it's helped me collect? We we'll use it as support when we bring charges against Dr. Gordon. What if it supports looking at somebody else than Dr. Gordon? You can't wait to look at my files, hell. For example, you need to read my notes on the last interview I had. Munson. Yes. Where? Oh, that, uh, that I've got upstairs. I'm going to have to call you back. All right. I got to leave for a minute. I'll take a look at your files when I get back. Thank you. If it's okay with you, Hal, I'd like to stay behind, review the files, and make sure they're in order for you. Oh, well, that's fine. But, Dr. Daniels, I expect you to honor my request. 
I don't want you relating your suspicions about Rick Decker to anybody, and I mean anybody. Is that clear? Dr. Daniels here. Dr. Daniels, it's Emily Stewart. Ah, uh, Emily Munson. Hal Munson's wife. Yes, I know who you are. I, I was looking for you at the hospital. The, the nurses said you had left for the day. Actually, I'm down here at the precinct. I just finished speaking with your husband. How long are you going to be there? Well, actually, I have to review some files for the lieutenant. Why? Would you mind meeting with me? I have some questions, and I think you're about the only one who can answer them for me. Questions about what? Not what. Who? Rick Decker. I'm sorry, Rick. I only told Emily what happened to you in San Francisco because it came up in a conversation. How? Oh, by the way, my boyfriend, he was implicated in a serial killing at San Francisco Mercy. Uh, could you pass the jelly, please? It wasn't like that. I, I was only asking Emily if, if she could get how to, to back off of you a bit. Does Allison know, too? Yes, I, I think it's best that both my girls know from me. Oh, Susan. I'm trying to make friends with your girls, not scare them away. But that involves trust. <sighs> and if, if we start holding things back, especially important things, they're just going to think we're hiding things, and we are. Well, I don't have any kids, so I'm going to have to rely on your instincts on this one. I, I just don't want them to think that you somehow tricked me. And anyway, uh, Dr. Gordon is Hal's main suspect now, not you. Yeah, well, it hasn't made Emily any more comfortable around me. I don't know what to say about that, except it's just going to take some time. Hmm. I'm really, really sorry. I... No. No, you don't have to apologize. I mean, you've been very honest and upfront with everyone. Well, I wasn't always. I, I had to really practice to learn how to do that. Well, maybe your girls would feel more comfortable if I stopped seeing you altogether. Oh, please, don't say that. No, no, look, I'm being as honest with you as you've been with me. They've expressed doubts, haven't they? Uh, they've had some concerns, but there are no doubts in my mind. That, that they're going to adore you when all this is over and, and, and forgotten. And that's all that matters. What is it? Your girls did the right thing warning you about me. You can't mean that. Well, if it were my mother in their situation and the guy she was seeing had a secret past that made him a murder suspect, I'd tell her to get the hell away from him, too. They're good girls, Susan. But their mother is better than good. She's fantastic. Oh, sweetie. <laughs> oh, I just, I thought you were saying, I don't know what I thought. I'm just so happy that we're okay. Jennifer, you have to understand something. I can't relive that pain again. You know, Dad sent me clippings. I saved them along with the obituary you sent me, and I put them in a book. I know you loved your brother very much. You know, back in Milan, I had a room that overlooked the public gardens. I used to stare out the window and then stare at that book. You know that photo next to Paul's obituary? I used to look, look in his eyes as if I could will them to answer the one question that I can't seem to stop asking myself. Why is my brother dead? It was an accident, Jennifer. Maybe it was the fog. Maybe he lost control. I'm not talking about how. You know, I, I, I'm not talking about the plane or, or the instruments or the weather conditions that day. Why aren't you answering me? You know, why was he out there, alone, miles and miles from Oakdale? You're fine. If you won't answer me, I'll ask Dad. No, 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 no. No, you need to hear this from me.
from me, okay? Just from me. There were some problems going on, and Paul was, he was very upset. At you? He was angry with a lot of people. Why? There had been a, a misunderstanding. Over what? You know. Honey, he's gone, all right? He's gone. And the reasons are just circumstantial here. Now, I have gone over this in my mind for weeks now, and I know the only thing that's important to me is that my son died knowing that I loved him. And I know that he loved me, too. Do you understand? That's all that matters to me. But there were other people that he would not have forgiven. So what you're saying is that he was angry? My gosh, you're not even supposed to get behind the wheel of a car when you're upset and you let Paul get into the cockpit of a plane? I didn't know what he was going to do. I was trying to get him to stay in town, but he was determined to get away. To get away from Dusty Donovan and get away from his fiance, Rose D'Angelo. Something happened at the hunting lodge the other day. Yeah, you almost died out there. Yeah, but you, you went outside and you were fighting with Brackett for the gun. He came back in and I was down. He asked me, how did I get out of the noose? Remember that? Remember? Why, Remember? why are you doing this? Why do you want to go back to that? And the chair fell. And I was dangling there and I almost died right there at that very second. What are you trying to say? I almost died right there. At that very second. So maybe that's why I'm thinking about Paul and the way he died. Maybe I got some unfinished business that I got to take care of before I can move on in my life. You do what you gotta do. You know how much we care about you, right? Yeah. I, I never thought that I, I, I would. I really hope all this stuff works out with Paul, but, but you know. What? I like dealing with things straight, and right now it looks like there's no guarantee that you're gonna get past this. Yes, I will. I think I just need a little time. I want you to understand something. I'm not the waiter around kind of guy. To play the blues, you have to understand pain. Less pain, less blood. On your fingers or your arm. One Touch Ultra. Results in five seconds. You want to feel it here, not here. One Touch Ultra. Yeah. Frizzy's hair serum transforms dull, frizz-prone hair into sleeker, shiny hair instantly. Apply Frizzy's hair serum to soaking wet hair and smooth through. Dry naturally for soft curls or blow dry straight. The results are amazing. Before their wedding, a hundred couples used new Colgate Simply White Night for two weeks. The thing about getting married is you're constantly smiling. Now, apply just once at night. It absorbs fast. No need to let it dry. I woke up one morning and boom, they were whiter. A brighter white. Definitely. At my shower, I'm going to put Simply White Night in a care package for my bridesmaids. I was shocked it worked so well. Now there's new Colgate Simply White Night. Dramatically whiter teeth made even simpler. Guaranteed. Hmm. What do I want in a Glade plug-in? Well, it'd be fresh. What about a night light? A bright one. That goes off when you don't need it. And doesn't block my outlets. Nobody else can say that. Glade plug-in's extra outlet night light. The only one that freshens, brightens, and doesn't block your outlets. Plug it in, plug it in. Now that's a bright idea. Plug into extra outlet night light. SC Johnson Family Company. Hi, Jay Bush and Duke here for Bush's Country Style Baked Beans. 
roll of that beautiful bean footage. They're slow cooked with extra brown sugar and hickory smoked bacon, so the sauce is thicker and the flavor is richer. I've only shared Bush's secret family recipe with Duke, and he's not talking. Wow, Duke, look, crop circle. You don't think UFOs? Yeah, that's it, UFOs. Try Bush's country style baked beans. Geico excellence means serving our customers 24 hours a day. I'm talking 24-7, no sleep. Hey, Louise, make me a pot of coffee, because I'm here to serve the customers. <laughs> That's as if you were at an all-night diner. That's what you'd say. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. We're going up. If Geico were a food group, we would be the vegetables, not the meat. The Big Brother house guests came face to face with the X Factor. Now they'll confront it head on. I have to see her face every day I wake up. It's pathetic. Big Brother CBS Tonight. Simon Cowell has a twisted new idea. Thousands of men will try to win the heart of America's most eligible woman. But first, they'll have to get past our two best friends. Take your courage and get out of here. Who will get a shot? Welcome to Cupid. And who will get shot down? Busted. Cupid premieres CBS Tonight at 10, 9 central. Now, am I missing something? Because um, as a prosecutor, nine times out of ten, you hobnob with people who are the scum of the earth. Now, that's a favor to me. In the last six months, how many times do you think that you and I have had lunch together? Like three? No, two. You canceled that one time you brought the thug back from Chicago. Now, in the same six-month period, how many times do you think you had lunch with, I don't know, Evelyn Hart? About 22 if you count the burgers in the car, and then every day when we're trying to get Bonnie McKechnie's statement. I rest my case. So if the DA can spend more time with the sexiest detective on the planet, I'm in. <laughs> I can't think of any DA I'd rather eat cool takeout with than you. We can't lose touch with each other, honey. We can't get so caught up in our jobs that we lose sight of what's most important. I know. You spend so many late nights here lately. When I come home and I crawl into bed with you and I want to wake you up. Don't ever hesitate to wake me up. I don't want to miss you anymore. I don't want to either. All right. Fill me in on the bracket case. No, first, here's a little preview of what's coming tonight. Uh -huh. Thank you for meeting with me, Dr. Daniels. What can I do for you, Miss Stewart? Oh, Emily. Please call me Emily. Hal, you know, I, I know you're working with him on the serial murders at Memorial. I can't I... explore details of an open investigation. Hal has hinted to me, Dr. Daniels, that you have suspicions about Rick Decker. Like and I, was I said, I am not at liberty to discuss this. I'm sorry. I should have told you as much on the phone. This is very important to me. I'm sure it is. And I'm sorry that I can't help you. But as you can see, I was just... Please, finishing. all right, please, don't go. Just, if there's something you can tell me about Rick Decker that I should know, you have to tell me. My mother's very life could be in danger. Everything would be fine except for Walker Daniels. But you don't have to worry about him anymore. And I think he's given up on his vendetta against you. You smell redemption? I smell a con job. Why would he pretend? <laughs> That I don't know. Chalk it up to his own pathology. But, honey, even if you're right and, and Walker Daniels still has suspicions about you, what does it matter? Oh, matters if your girls believe him. But you have me in your corner. And how long are you going to be there if your girls aren't with you? That's never going to happen. Susan, listen to me. If Dr. Gordon signs a confession today, as long as Walker Daniels is out there pointing his finger at me, your girls are going to have second thoughts about me. It's human nature. So you really think what he's doing could create long-term problems for Emily and Allison? Not if we treat the symptoms early. Dr. Stewart, I may have a prescription. On the bright side, Allison. You're 18 now. You can do all kinds of things you could never do before. Like what? Uh, you can vote. 
Whoop de doo. Who's running for anything? You could get a credit card. Okay, you can do lots of things and go pretty much anywhere, whenever you please. Yeah, that's cool, but I don't have a car, I don't have any money, or a boyfriend, or even a guy who likes me enough to remember it's my birthday. Sorry, I gotta get back to these linens, but I tell you what, today will not go uncelebrated, okay? You and I are gonna have a lot of fun later. Okay, Katie, thanks. Am I wrong, or is the prettiest nurse's aide at Memorial turning 18 today? Happy birthday, Allison. Best Western is the largest hotel chain in the world. Over 4,000 hotels in over 80 countries, all inviting you to get a good night's sleep. Best Western, the world's largest hotel chain. Visit bestwestern.com. The summer's best movie is Pirates of the Caribbean. Pure gold, loaded with laughs and action. It's the most fun you'll have at the movies this summer and the must-see movie of the year. Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean, rated PG-13. Now playing. Looks like heartburn. Wait! They also have pressure and bloating. That's gas. We don't treat gas. I do. Mayhawks Max. Fast heartburn plus gas relief. Thanks, Max. Maylox Max. When you have it all, treat it all. 100% of Americans love getting something for nothing. At TCBY, we have a solution. Free small cones. Now when you buy any adult menu item, get a small cone of frozen yogurt for free. TCBY. Eat more dessert. Oh, hold on, Sparky. My back is aching. Oh, my shoulder is sore. When you need relief, try Bayer Back and Body. It relieves sore backs and aching muscles with the trusted strength of Bayer Aspirin, plus a special pain relief enhancer to work effectively at the site of tough pain. Bayer Back and Body. And now try new Bayer Muscle and Joint Cream. It provides soothing and effective pain relief. Get moving again, pain-free. If you don't get an envelope from Publishers Clearinghouse this week, don't worry. The Prize Patrol could still surprise you next month. Publishers Clearinghouse introduces Clip and Win. Just look in the coupon section of Sunday's newspaper for this entry form. Clip it out and mail it back. And August 28th, you could win a million dollars. Oh, my word! Of course, you can still enter by mail or go to PCH.com. This is wonderful! So enter, and on August 28th, you could be a millionaire. Yo, come in and put the camera down. I have fine hair. It's just limp and it doesn't move. Each strand is so thin and it's so temperamental. When I use Dove, it's been moisturized without weighing it down. It feels really soft. Like I'm wearing a silk dress, I should say. And I'm in corduroy. Weightless moisture. Exactly that. It's got body and it's got oomph. Do you use it? No, I haven't. You should try it. All you need is the Dove shampoo and conditioner. I like it. I really, 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 really do. Can I say really again? <laughs> really. Don't miss a very special guest at a very special event. If I'm not made for you, then why does my heart tell me that I am? Daniel Bedingfield performs on Guiding Light, Wednesday, July 9th. You did remember it's my birthday. <laughs> uh, uh, how can I forget? Let's see, uh, Chris, did you know that there are two Independence Days in July? Could you guess what the second one is? Oh, but, shut it. I was subtle. Yeah, right. So, uh, are you just going to stare at that or are you going to open it? Can you wrap this? I'm a man of many talents, but it's not supposed to stay all wrapped up, you know? Dig in. <laughs> Just like the girl who's going to wear it. You know my mother's deeply involved with Rick Decker, don't you? My investigation covered the relationships of all key staff. Okay, so you know he worked at San Francisco Mercy. 
Oh, I see where you're headed with this. There was an unsolved serial murder case there, and this has affected your opinion of Dr. Decker. Yes. I mean, it's nothing specific. It's a feeling. Well, unfortunately, we can't pursue people on feelings, only evidence. Yeah, well, what do you do before you get your evidence, Dr. Daniels? How do you decide what leads to pursue? Hal always says that in cases, most of the time, he follows his gut. Now, that's just a feeling, right? I can't speak on your husband's process, Emily. But all I can tell you is that I can't discuss this with you any further. Okay, well, then do this. Okay, look me in the eye and tell me I've got nothing to worry about when it comes to Rick Decker. You can't do it, can you? Your husband would tell you to look at the I'm not asking Hal, I'm asking you. Ever since Dr. Gordon was put under surveillance, there have been no new killings. We cannot ignore that. But your gut doesn't agree that Dr. Gordon's the killer, does it? I didn't say You that. think it's Rick Decker. I the man my mother spent every waking hour with. Enemies. My mother is in danger, Dr. Daniels. I am afraid for her. And you believe I have reason to, but you still want to... I believe that, yes. But you didn't hear that from me. Oh, my God. I gotta get my mother away from that man. My kids don't run my life. I want to reassure them that I love you too, that I could never hurt you. But you've already told them. What more can you do? I can show them. I can show them how much I love you, how, how far I'm willing to go to be with you. Well, like what? Like... Me becoming your husband. Susan, will you marry me? Wow. Let me wrap my brain around this one. I care about you, Rose, but I'm not going to wait around for you. <laughs> I don't mean to sound cold, you know? I just want you to know where I stand. What about you? Huh? What about you? Paul was your really good friend. What about you? Yes, yes. We're both going to feel bad for a long time. Maybe forever. Rose. Paul is dead. Not in my heart. See? I can't let a dead man come between. If you can, there's nothing more to say. He's right. Paul is gone. Paul is dead. Why am I seeing that man? What is going on with you, D'Angelo? What the hell is going on? so quiet. I just felt that you should know what your brother's supposed best friend and fiance were really like. I don't want to talk about Dusty and Rose, Mom. I don't want to talk at all. You're feeling because I knew you lost your brother, but I lost my son. We'll take care of each other, okay? I'm here. We're together, and I will take care of you. Just like your brother would have wanted me to. On the next, as the world turns. What are you doing about Rick Decker? Rick Decker? Your mother's boyfriend? Walker Daniels thinks he's the serial killer. I'm starting the BRO again. It's what your brother would want. I was breaking up with Dusty. Are you happy now? You know, every so often, packing.